Oh no. He's, he's trying to get into their bag. Alright, so we're about to walk into the monkey forest now. I have seen people get like... Attacked. attacked. Bitten. And I yeah. didn't sign up for rabies, but I'm open. So we got woken up this morning just literally by the natural light. I tried to capture it first thing. I think it was about 6 a.m. when the um, it was sunrise and the sky was looking all pink and everything. And because we slept with we slept with these blinds open, it was nice just to like wake up looking out over the rice paddies, the green fields, the trees and everything, and the and the sunrise. If you didn't catch yesterday um, the last vlog, sorry, we're staying at Dwaraka, the Royal Villas, in a one bedroom private pool villa and this place is like absolutely stunning so yeah it's just like a really epic way to to wake up um, today's plan is we're going to the Ub Ubud monkey forest it's one of the top things to do in Ubud it's also one of the things that we're most apprehensive about doing because monkeys there can be can be dicks they can be real like they steal your stuff and everything um, so we've heard really mixed things about this place but we figure we'll be the test dummies we'll go along and we'll show you show you actually what it looks like yeah what to expect but we're just gonna before we do that we're gonna go and uh, grab some breakfast and see what the situation is all about here I heard if you press that button there, you get free treats. <laughs> You're so naughty. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we think we're heading back upstairs where we went yesterday for coffee up there. Sometimes having too many options can be a bad thing. We can pick from any of these, or there's like, are these like pre-made ones, babe? Like you can go healthy, like American, it's right? So like, it's like a package thing. Mm. So that's one, that's one, and then that's one. Maybe. Oh, kids menu. That's a bit of me. <laughs> So we're about to walk into the monkey forest now. We're sort I'm, of... I'm not very excited. <laughs> <laughs> we like to keep things like positive, but we also like to keep things real. Honest, and yeah. I've seen these monkeys. I've seen them on blogs, I've seen them on YouTube, people I've seen them on ridiculousness. <laughs> and I have seen people get like... Attacked, attacked. bitten. And I yeah. didn't sign up for rabies, but I'm open. We're going, we're gonna explore. It's definitely a bit like we had no idea it was gonna be this big no. commercial commercial oh. buildings and stuff like that. Oh shit, I nearly fell on the gun. <laughs> anyway, this could sorry but this could be quite interesting. We're gonna we're gonna walk in, we're gonna take you along and we'll see if we run into any trouble and how we actually find it. But this is insane. Also there's tickets, you have to pay to go in by the looks of that. That was 50,000 rupee each for the entrance fee, which is which is pretty cheap. We really thought that it was just going to be like a forest, just like some bush and just loads of monkeys floating around. But like as you can can tell from where we've just walked in, like what we've just filmed here, it's like it's this huge commercial structure, proper like wooden walkways through the jungle here. And looking at the map as well, it's this whole complex is absolutely enormous. It definitely didn't take very long to see monkeys. We walked out from up there and almost instantly, well instantly, they're all around here. <laughs> Down this side. Looks like you can Don't you look can, them in the eye. You can buy Oh really? <laughs> you can buy um, bananas there and Stace has just said there's a sign here. You can see everyone looks completely scared of them. 
There's a sign here that says don't look at them in the eyes. The other thing that the sign says is keep all your belongings close because they've got a tendency to snatch anything out of your hand, especially food. We just saw a guy carrying a bag of bananas and he literally just got swarmed. I didn't get the camera out in time because I'm trying to protect it. The last thing I need is a monkey running off with, <laughs> with our whole rig. But honestly, within the space of about five minutes, we've walked in and we've already probably seen like 200. There's some really cute baby ones, but the big ones are like sketchy and <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie, they're, they're intimidating for sure. It's quite peaceful walking through here though, like, but I keep, <laughs> but I keep looking up. Yeah, your eyes I'm, haven't even looked at me yet, you're like scanning. Because <laughs> I'm just waiting for a monkey to be like, like, jump down on top of me. <laughs> <laughs> There's these cool little like walkways up through the forest here, it's yeah. all the way up. Just gonna keep walking along here. You see like that, oh man, this guy's brave. So this is the stuff you see on Ridiculousness or like Fails where they get like absolutely attacked and the next thing you do is you're off to the emergency center. <laughs> So there's about 600 monkeys here in total we just read. The, I, I, I feel like there's a lot more because there's like an overwhelming sense as soon as you walk in that there's tons of them around. Um, from what we can tell, obviously, they've all been really looked after. They, they all seem really happy and, and playful and everything as well. And some of them, yeah, are really well fed. So I think, um, I think the monkeys are in their absolute element in the space of like, I don't know, a couple of minutes. We've just seen two prime examples of why you need to be careful around here. There was a guy walking with a water bottle and the monkey literally just snatched it out of his hands and you would have just seen like, and the monkey just sits there, drinks it, finishes what he wants and throws and it away. exactly what to do with it too. He turned it up the other way on like the soft bottom and then was like chewing on the plastic. Yeah, yeah. And then it all just came up. Oh. Oh. Is it good? Is it <laughs> this guy's deciding that he wants some water, he just snatched out of someone's hand. And then just after that we're walking away talking about what just happened and then a guy was posing with a monkey on his back and then while one was distracting him on the front the other one was literally undoing his bag and going like hands inside the satchel. Oh no. He's He's trying to get into their bag. <laughs> what will they know now? Oop. There has to be more than 600. We're just looking up in this tree. I don't know if you can see any movement and the lighting's not great, but there are so many up here jumping around. You can just hear all of these noises through all of the top of these um, tree branches and everything. Constantly things are like dropping down off the ground and we're like, Ooh, what's that? <laughs> there's cool like statues and stuff along here as well. So it's, it's sort of been fun that it's not just about the monkeys, that there's a lot more like to see and do walking around. Having fun, babe? That is quite cool, isn't it? <laughs> are you jealous? Yeah, I am. Danger actually. loves sweet potato. These guys are like living the good life. This yeah. is where you come if you if you live in the monkey forest. There's just three of them here. At least we thought there was two to begin with. They've just got their own little sweet potato or kumara stash, as we call it in New Zealand. And then this guy up in the tree here is living it. The uh, I don't know if you can hear the noises. See if you can listen. Just seen a sign saying that there's a dragon bridge apparently, which 
Sounds interesting. It looks like it heads down into a gully. I think there might we can hear some running water, so maybe there's a river or something down there. I'm just gonna walk down and uh, go and see what what this dragon bridge situation is. finished up the monkey forest to to be fair to the monkeys it was not <laughs> it wasn't as like ruthless or as bad as what we were sort of anticipating and in terms of the whole experience it was a lot more going on than just than just monkeys as well because there was like that cool river and everything there was like there was loads of um temples and stuff as well which we weren't really dressed properly to be able to go into them just out of respect for the culture and everything so we didn't really go in but there's definitely a lot there like we, we killed probably about two hours you could very easily spend about that if not more if you really wanted to like take it all in so definitely a cool experience either way we're just on our way back up the street now to go and um go and grab some food somewhere try and find somewhere that's air conditioned because it is so hot today the sun has gone but it's um it's just We've said it a couple of times already, but it's just so muggy here. Just when we got dropped off outside is the palace and we've just had the most amazing looking feed come out. We've got this incredible like, I'm gonna make it fancy and say that it's like a deconstructed smoothie bowl. But it's like a big breakfast bowl, heaps of granola and like loads of colorful fruit and everything. And then Stace has, uh, has gone for some banana bread, which isn't really lunch worthy, but it's what, what we feel like we're treating ourselves. I really don't think that we're gonna get out too much more this afternoon. We've got a lot of work and stuff that we need to catch up on. And I think we just need to have some time to chill out the camera down and enjoy life. So um, we'll catch you in the next adventure. As always, thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you in the comments. Bye. <laughs>